What is fibromyalgia? Fibromyalgia is a condition which causes widespread chronic pain. It is a common condition affecting approximately 5% of all people. More women have fibromyalgia than men, and while it can affect any age, a new diagnosis is more common under the age of 50. The cause of fibromyalgia remains poorly understood. This has unfortunately led to wrongly held beliefs about this common and very real condition. It is not thought to be a condition caused by the immune system, like rheumatoid arthritis. While many researchers continue to examine for the cause, it remains unclear. Not all people with pain necessarily have fibromyalgia. Those with fibromyalgia often describe long-standing pain. Some can remember when it started, and even what may have triggered it, such as a car accident or a stressful time in life. But many people do not have an identifiable trigger. Other patients will describe diffuse head-to-toe pain, which can be in their joints, muscle, bones, or all three. Some patients describe it as an achy pain, others shooting pain. Sleep is often a significant problem, with constant fatigue, whether or not they feel they are getting enough sleep. Exercise is also affected, as those with fibromyalgia are either not doing any physical activity, or less than they used to before their symptoms started. While pain and fatigue are the most prominent symptoms, a history of chronic headaches, irritable bowel, depression, or anxiety is also described by some patients with fibromyalgia. How is fibromyalgia diagnosed? Fibromyalgia is best diagnosed by your physician or a specialist in fibromyalgia. They will listen to your history, complete an appropriate physical examination, and review any necessary investigations. There is no one blood test or investigation that can confirm a diagnosis of fibromyalgia. In fact, it is important to check that other possible diagnoses are ruled out, included but not limited to thyroid disease, lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, or medication related. For more information on the treatment of fibromyalgia, please see our related video or go to Edmonton Rheumatology.